I want to show you what data change data capture actually looks like here. So I've created a basic Python script with some of the legends of rock from the 70s and 80s, rockers that you can see on screen here, like Sting, Bob Dylan, D Stevie Nicks. So this script inserts records directly into our operational Postgres database, which is running on AWS. We're going to insert these records so you can see how quickly Debezium picks up these new records and replicates them to our tables. So as you're seeing here, we can see the current state of our tables up top. Down below, however, we're with the Confluent Flink shell viewing the change log. And in the very left co hand column, you see the operation type. Here we have a ton of updates and inserts and one delete so far. Uh, we're deleting records that have, uh, of rockers that have passed away after we insert them. So what you're seeing here is those records updating in real time as the script inserts, updates, and deletes the records from our operational database. All those changes are being streamed in real time. You'll notice that when a record gets deleted, it no longer shows up in the screen on top. It shows the current state of the table. That's because if it was deleted, we don't want it in our records anymore. But you can change this if you like to use that uh, to do soft deletes with that deleted flag. Finally, another thing you probably notice is that in the operation column, there's pluses or minus associated with each update, delete, et cetera. That's because the Postgres database is submitting full changes for each update, and insert, or delete. That includes a before and after state for each event. The before event is designated with a minus sign, while the after state event is designated with a plus. That's why for updates, you see two rows, and for inserts, you only see one because inserts don't have a before state. So this detailed change log makes for unparalleled auditability, reproducibility, and replayability of our data after the fact. And this is really important for highly regulated industries. Taking a look at specific records here from that change log, we could see we, we had an operation of create there. Of course, if we refresh the table in the operational database through dbeaver here, we can see all of those rockers are now present in our database.